When I was 10, my father, older sister, and I went to Walmart. My sister and I liked to wander alone in stores, so my father had invested in three walkie-talkies. I was by myself walking through the bedding section because I was getting it red. I was looking intently at one when I felt that I was being watched. I looked over to the beginning of the aisle and a large man in overalls and dirty brown hair was just looking at me. I decided to walk the other direction and speed walk to the pet section, asking my father through the walkie-talkie where he was. He didn't answer. I made it to the dog food and was happily next to another cut shopper when he walked by the aisle. Thinking he didn't see me, I let out a sigh of relief. I asked my father again where he was, and again, no answer. I felt like things were safe when I turned around and this man was at the end of the aisle standing there. I quickly walked away with the plan to head to the customer service desk to ask them to call my father. As I walked parallel to me, this man was matching my steps, keeping me from reaching the front of the store. I changed directions trying to lose him. In my ten-year-old mind, I thought running to the bathroom would be safe. I ran and hid in the stall. I heard his footsteps as he entered and saw his shoes below the stall's door. Then I heard an angry woman's voice say, Hey, get out of here, pervert. The woman knocked on the stall's doors and asked, Are you okay? I opened it and hugged her and started crying. I told her everything and she walked with me, holding my hand to the customer service desk. She waited with me until my father showed up. I told him what happened and despite the lady verifying it, he didn't believe me. Number 2 was approaching one of my niece's birthdays, and she's at the age where I think she would appreciate a gift from her uncle. I'm a poor college student with no car, so I commute everywhere and anywhere. Knowing that, I always take my backpack and headphones anytime I leave my house. So I'm at Walmart and have this care package planned out for my niece. She loves Elsa from Frozen, so I decided to get her a costume, doll, and candy. All Frozen themed, of course. Like I mentioned earlier, any place I travel, I usually have my headphones in. This is kind of a pain to explain, but this detail defines the whole story. Now I'm so lazy, I use a third party music app instead of using the music app included in my iPhone. Unfortunately for me, this requires a good internet connection and living in rural parts of Denver, my music ends up cutting it in and out and then stops playing altogether. Now at this point, I have one item left on my list and I'm in the toy section of Walmart looking for an Elsa toy that my niece could take care of. As soon as I know it is this mom leaves her two children beside me. I'm not sure why, but this has happened before. Maybe I have a trustworthy face. Let me tell you something right now. I'm not fucking stupid. There are so many strange things that happen in this world that I would be a fool to leave these two young children alone. And for the record, I don't even know these people at all. Kind of a pain, but I figure it's just me being a good person. I don't even know how some people can do this. This is literally a woman leaving her two children at a section of the store and telling them to wait there for a short while. Anyways, one girl is around four years old and her sister was around one to two years old. These girls were fucking sitting ducks, man. The older sister had a mi one missing rock and her younger sister had pajamas on and a pacifier in her mouth. I felt even more obligated to stay until their mom came back. That was right, not even five minutes passed since their mom left and some fool came up and started talking to these girls. This tool said all the same generic stuff any pedophile would say. I have lots of toys and candy in my car and a dog too. I was like, is this guy fucking serious? He probably thought I wasn't listening because I had my headphones in. But like I said, my music cut out a long time ago. As soon as he mentioned his dog, I immediately made my way up to him. He was crouched down talking to the girl about the stuffed animal she had in her hand. My dog is really big, but he's not pink, but he's nice. Would you like to come and meet him? I crouched down and pushed the girl back a few steps. Immediately, the guy moved back a few steps himself. I extended my arm, I shook my finger back, and gesturing him, no, not today. I gave the guy a very harsh look like I knew exactly what he was doing. I just stared at him very attentively. The guy was very short in stature and had short stringy hair with a tan pilot jacket. He was also wearing some very beat up New Balance tennis shoes. He looked very plain. 
At this point, I was about to pounce on him and hold him down. I'm not even a big guy myself. I just don't stand for any bullshit. Before that could happen, he mainly got up and turned right and headed out the garden exit. I waited with the little girl and her sister until the, their mom came back. I said, yeah, you should not leave your children alone. Some guy was talking to one shoe about some generic kidnap bullshit. Those were my exact words to her. I mean, there's no design, don't, no design what happened. Anyways, I told her she won't, she won't be as lucky next time. The mom just shook her head up and down and swallowed any spit that was in I don't know if something bad would have happened, but if my music had not been stopped, it's not so plain. Let's just say neither one of those girls could barely speak. So creepy guy at Walmart, if we meet again, I'm going to whip your ass. Come try me again, boy.